All right there, everyone. We have a very special guest with us today. He's actually making a return to our channel because we get such wonderful feedback every time he's on. It's my privilege to welcome back Michael Lush of Replace Your University. Uh, Michael is an expert on how to pay off your home in just five to seven years with his Replace Your Mortgage Plan. He's an amazing guy, devoted father, husband, patriot, and he's devoted his life to show fellow patriots how they can become financially independent and no longer dependent on a, a federal banking system that more or less enriches our permanent political class at the expense of everyone else. And he's going to be telling us about a new website uh, that he's put together called ReplaceYourUniversity.com. Uh, Michael's always working on some awesome and exciting stuff. So, Michael, it's great to have you back. Thanks. I appreciate it. Thanks for having me. And you forgot to mention I'm also a diehard conservative. And you are a do I called you a patriot, man. I said you're, yeah, you are a die. Yeah. No, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> Amen. And you're right, that's uh and yeah, I know I remember one of the last times we talked online, you were talking from I think your workshop. Uh mm -hmm. or yeah, and and then you said when when we're done, you're gonna go out with your boys and you're gonna do some shooting on however many acres that you have out there in beautiful mm -hmm. God's country, Tennessee, right? Right, <laughs> yep, yep. We do that every day now. <laughs> oh, well, thanks a lot. Uh, it makes me Good feel really soul. great here living 20 minutes away from Biden's basement. So anyway, <laughs> <laughs> we'll, have, we'll have to change that at some point, you know. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, let's talk the latest, you know, let's get your assessment of what's really going on financially. I know a lot of our viewers are, are really concerned. They're confused. You've got on the one hand, you've got Biden you know, proclaiming to the world that we're seeing the best economic year we've had in ages. He's claiming that inflation is his number one economic priority. And of course, in the meantime, everyone else who's actually living in reality, we're seeing our gas prices climbing, we're seeing the baby food shortage, uh, inflation, the worst it's been in decades. Um, now, you've been sharing the truth of how people all over the world are actually using this as an opportunity uh, to take back their finances and fight back against all this by getting rid of their mortgages. And it mm -hmm. does seem rather counterintuitive, but, but can you explain a bit how that works and how that fits into this craziness that we're experiencing now? Yeah, and I want to be clear that it, it's not getting rid of your home. It's getting rid of the debt that has shackled your home, right? That has caused your home to, to really be those golden handcuffs. I say golden handcuffs because real estate is a great market. Uh, we were just talking to an individual earlier today about talking to uh, an urban league of, you know, that generational gap between minorities and, you know, how to, how to bridge between the lower class and the middle class. And really real estate is one of the, the most essential foundational pieces to get from low class to middle class right. and then even from middle class to upper class. And, and how do you do that? How do you acquire real estate? And we've been told this lie by the banksters uh, for well over hundreds of years that we have to get a death pledge, which is a mortgage. That's the, the Latin word or actually old French for mortgages, death pledge, is that that's really the only financial instrument to acquire real estate. And that is a huge uh, myth that, that is not the case. You do not have to get a mortgage. It's the most expensive, inefficient way to finance real estate. So what we teach inside of Replace Your Mortgage is to get what we call a first lien position home equity line of credit. And it's far more efficient. It's what our ancestors used to do prior to the creation of the Federal Reserve back in 1913. We used to finance real estate this way, and we got away from it because we've been dumbed down. We've been allowed to be misinformed and uneducated on how to finance the appropriate way. Now, And, it, and if, if I can interrupt, and a lot of the mm -hmm. world still finances their homes that way, don't like in yes. Canada with the HELOC, don't they? Yes. Yeah. I, I could not make a living teaching this stuff in other countries. You know, you mentioned Canada, United <laughs> Kingdom, Australia. Uh, I actually, I'm going to South Africa next year for a safari there. It's very normal. I was talking to a gentleman um, at the, the local tractor supply company, right? Because that's what we in Tennessee do. We, we visit uh, Lowe's and Home Depot and tractor supply. So anyways, he's, he's got a food truck outside of tractor supply. And I noticed his accent was South African, and I had a hat on that says eat venison because I'm a big time hunter. And he says, oh, you know, I've, I've got a cattle farm, and I just bought a cattle farm too. And so we're, we're kind of shooting the breeze. And uh, he mentioned he was in South Africa, and 
you know, that he has uh, some property out there that we could do a safari hunt on and, and we can get together next summer and do that. And I said, I mentioned South Africa. I said, you notice that now that you're in America, that you finance your real estate entirely different. He goes, yeah. And then I started explaining what it is I do. He goes, oh my goodness. He said, I've been looking for that ever since he's been here for 20 some odd years. He's like, I've been looking for something like that, but I just haven't come across it. But this is completely archaic, the way that we finance real estate here in America versus how we did back home. That's an absolutely so. Yeah, you're, you're 100% right. Other countries, you know, they, they've never gone away from this. But us, unfortunately, th there is a, a blessing and a burden of having the largest economy. The blessing is, is we, we have the largest economy. We have great opportunities in this country and hopefully always will, depending on who our leaders are. Right. But right. the burden is, is that because we have the top economy, we also have a big target on our back and we can afford to be extorted. And that's what the banksters have done. They've put together a very genius plan of how to separate us from our cash and how to get us away from creating our own economy, which is eventually what I'd like to talk about is how you know, fellow patriots can create their own economy. So what you were talking about in the beginning was inflation, gas prices, real estate prices. How do we combat that? And the way you combat it is you become resilient to it. You become resistant to inflation and you create your own economy so that even during these downturns, and we will, we'll have a recession soon. And even during a recession, not only are you able to weather those storms, you can maximize on those opportunities like the wealthy do, the top 1% that I wouldn't say that they keep it a secret. It's out there for the information for us to grab and, and teach it to our, our lower generations and you know, execute on it, but we haven't. So we've made that easier for to piece that information together and put it together in simple learning paths so that people can create their own economies and these are external factors that sometimes we can control, but a lot of times we just we have no control over. So right. how do we how do we shield ourselves from those external factors? It's it's so interesting because I you know since we've known each other now for a couple of years and I've I've actually seen students who have worked with you and gang, if you're interested in getting to learn more about Michael, just click on the link below and you get all the information you need. But I've seen students work with you directly. And I know one in particular, uh, after she replaced her mortgage uh, with the HELOC, uh, she's since moved from one of the most blue states in the union, not very far away from me where I am now, and has moved into a solid red state, I believe not too far away from you. I think she's mm -hmm. in Franklin at this point. So um, That's where I'm at. That's where there I'm you go. Right so so mm -hmm. you, you, you get the, your students, they come to learn at the foot of the guru. You say that you right. build the monastery and the town starts getting created around you. But it's so neat because I got to see firsthand how replace your mortgage changes lives. I mean, it's really amazing. I mean, is that typical? I mean, what are some it of is. the success stories that you're seeing once people break free of the, this pattern that's been set since 1913? Yeah, one of the more recent ones was Joe Helps. Joe, Joe is a, um, a, a pastor at a church, works at a church for, I want to say 15, I, I, I won't get the number right, but 15 plus years worked at a church. And he came across our material, took the course, and I've recently, not only has he been successful at it, but he's been so successful because he's like, look, you know, I'm a pastor, so I got to share the gospel. I got to share the truth. And he said, this is a part of that truth. He said, this has worked for me and my family. You know, we're way ahead of paying off our home. They went from 30 years to thir uh, three years. So he's probably a year and a half in and a year and a half, he'll have his home paid off without breaking a sweat. And this isn't changing right. the budget. This is changing how your cash flows. Right. But not only has he done that, because he's done such a good job of doing it himself, but also spreading that message freely on Facebook. He'll do a Facebook live and say, look, this is what I've learned. You've got to know this. And so we employed him and it, he's been a part of the company for two months. Now, I don't know exactly what his income was uh, as a, a pastor at this church. It wasn't nearly what it is now. So somebody who did not have a mortgage experience came on board and last month in May, he was my number one account executive, and wow. he made well over $20,000 just that month in commission alone by sharing the gospel and sharing the truth. Right. So he's just one example. So now he was on pace to pay his home off in three years based on the previous income. 
Now he doesn't punch a clock. He doesn't have hours. He's created his own economy. And with this new income, he can start creating generational wealth for his family. So that's just one example. Another example would be Edmund. He's uh, actually out of your state, Delaware. He was a high school principal in Delaware. And he came on board with us about four years ago as a client first. Then again, followed the same path as Joe's like, oh, my goodness. I, I keep telling my neighbors and my friends about this. I should just earn a living doing this. Said, Absolutely. Do a good job. Come on board. Let's do it. So he did. Did a great job. Now he's gotten he's the CEO of what we call Replace Your uh, Employer. So he acquires real estate every single week. So in four years, he went from, a, I was surprised at the salary that uh, a high school principal could make in Delaware, but it was about $110,000. Oh, wow. So, but <laughs> definitely not on the pace of being a multimillionaire. Right. Well, guess what sure. Edmund is today? He has a net worth of well over $4 million because wow. he's taking not just replace your mortgage as the foundational piece, but applied those principles into acquiring more real estate, which as we talked about earlier, is one of those foundational uh, aspects to create personal wealth and generational wealth. So that's one example. Another one, Jeremy, who's in Delaware. I got to make it up to Delaware because uh, apparently we've got a decent audience there. Also a high school principal. So he's a high school principal for seven, 17 years, got several PhDs and a master. And he came to me and he was a client and said, look, this is working great. I wish we had this in our educational system. Uh, even at college, it's not that you don't learn this stuff in college, let alone high school. Now, in other countries like Australia, you learn this in high school. Again, I couldn't make a living teaching this even at a high school level in, in Australia. So he came aboard with a client and he said, look, our educational system is just failing people. He said, I am now because he's at the top high school in Delaware as a principal, probably just gave it away and has been for 17 years. And he says, this system is not working for our kids. Our kids are our future, and we're failing them based on the, these educational requirements, and we're, we're really dumbing them down. So now we are going to launch next month Replace Your School, and he is the directing principal of Replace Your School, where we're going to teach families how to homeschool, but not just how to homeschool and, and, and care for your kids and how to do that as an entrepreneur, because that is a tough task. How do you homeschool and, and run seven businesses? I've got seven. My wife has three. How do we homeschool our four kids and still be successful in all areas? More importantly, when, when it comes to educating your kids. So he has dialed that in. Plus, we've got 20 other homeschooling parents that will sit on the board as advisors and help teach people online of how to homeschool and learn these principles that they wouldn't, they wouldn't even learn in college. So his economy has gone from a good income in Delaware as a principal, as I mentioned with Edmund, to now he's the directing principal of Replace Your School. And we have a projected path. And not only will he have his home completely paid off, but his income will triple because of what we're capable of doing. That's, that's phenomenal. You're, you're obviously, you're giving us an insight into creating mm -hmm. that alternative economy, that personal economy, that parallel economy. Uh, stretch that out for us. Develop that for us. What, what's your vision there? And how does that help us in these crazy times? So, you know, replace your mortgage is, you know, we talk about real estate going up too. We talk about inflation and some of these external prices. So you've got families that they're looking at real estate right now, like we can't afford a home. And they are correct. The prices are going up and they're not going to come down. And, right. But they are not correct when they say that they can't afford it. They can't afford it with the old way of thinking, with getting a mortgage. Because what they're looking at is what is our budget? What is the mortgage payment? Now look at the price. You know, a four hundred thousand dollar home is now seven hundred thousand. Well, that, the mortgage on that is is completely outside of our budget, but it's not with a first lien position home equity line of credit with a proper cash flow strategy. So now you can afford that house, and actually then some, because on average we save our clients one hundred and seventy to one hundred eighty thousand dollars of interest from a mortgage to a first lien position home equity line of credit. So the replace your mortgage is the foundational piece. And that allows you to gain access to capital that you never had before. And then from there, we get into what we call replace your employer. So replace your mortgage. You've gotten your house paid off, which you don't have to wait until you're paid off. A lot of our clients don't wait until the house is paid off. But how do we get the house pregnant so that it can have baby houses, right? Because again, real estate is one of the most proven ways to financial success and how to become a millionaire. So that's what we do with replace your employers, how to funnel that capital now into acquiring 
uh, other houses, rentals, Airbnbs, et cetera. In fact, we go a step further and teach people how to do it without utilizing any of their own capital. So I was just on a call this morning with a client. Her name's Julie. She's out of Charlotte, North Carolina, and she is a realtor <laughs> with Keller Williams, uh, ironically. So she's a realtor and she says, I have a goal. You know, I got to consume this information, but I have a goal. I'm 53. And by the age of 60, I want to have seven houses in seven years. Wow. And I said, Julie, you've got a, a terrible way of thinking. I think you're on, you're on the right path, but your goals are way too small. Mm -hmm. And she, her, her way of thinking was, well, every year I will have access to capital to acquire another house. And by the time I'm 60, I'll have seven houses. And I said, the math is wrong. In fact, in seven years, you should have 100 houses. Wow. And imagine what retirement looks like. Imagine what your economy looks like if right. you have 100 houses. And we have those examples. Nate Lambert, been in real estate on the replacement employer side for five years now, and he has 75 homes. So he's well on that way to having 100 homes in seven years. Edmund, as I just mentioned, is principal. He picks up a new property every week, but he's wow. getting these properties financed without utilizing any of his own money, including the down payment. So he's doing flips, he's doing wholesales, he's doing rentals. So for every two flips, he's picking up a rental. And we have a formula in education to teach people how to get into real estate without utilizing any of your own uh, money. And, and people think that it, it's a big misconception that you, in order to get in real estate and to buy a portfolio, you've got to have access to large amounts of capital, not your personal capital. There's lots of people sitting on the sidelines that have capital that want to own real estate, but they don't want to go out and, and do the digging and finding where the deals are. You know, I just personally did this in, in Minnesota. I had a buddy that wanted to buy a rental property. He was going to finance it, but he didn't have the down payment. Well, because of Replace Your Banker, you see how this all kind of ties in, right? right. So because of Replace Your Banker, I have a, a policy that has lots of cash value. I said, no problem. How much capital do you need? And he told me. So we worked out a deal, what my rate of return would be. Boom, wired him the capital. We picked up the rental property. He sold another flip that he had. So he's like, hey, you know, your, your capital is a bit expensive. It's a good rate of return for me. So he paid me off in a couple months and I got my rate of return. And wow. again, I did that because I had access to Replace Your Banker and I have the concepts of Replace Your Employer. So there's lots of people like me that want to be in real estate, but I'm not going to swing a hammer. I don't want to analyze deals, but yet I want to pick up portfolio because real estate is not going to go down. It's going to continue to go up. Maybe not at the pace that it is now, but as it goes up, you know, the Dow, ironically, you can't spell down without Dow. So the Dow is down, you know, crypt, crypto is crippled. So all of these things can influence your wealth, right? If you don't know what you're doing, but with real estate, it's a bit resilient and inflation, great. Inflation goes up. What do you think happens to real estate prices? Goes up. That's what real estate has done. Up, it's gone up. Right. So there's a lot of strategies that we teach that can shield people from these external factors that can really harm them. Like 401k, IRA. These are things that you work so hard for, and then you get a Biden economy and you're like, I, I thought I was going to retire in this term, but now yeah. I'm not. I, I have to wait until another term or, or a term after that so that my 401k can rebound so that I can afford to retire. It, you don't have to go. That's the old mentality. We're, we're trapped. And it's really, um, it's designed that way to keep you trapped because right. our system doesn't want uh, employers. It wants employees. And that's right. what our, our traditional school system has taught us, how to, how to be a good employee when yeah, we really to need to transition to how to become an employer. Yeah, yeah. So you've got, so you've got uh, replace your mortgage, you've got replace your bank, you've got re replace yep. your employer, got replace yep. your school. I'm, I am seeing a parallel yeah, economy true. emerging here. Right. Yeah, we have replace your dollar. Uh, we, we've got Jeremy Newsom, who I know you know he's been on yeah, the, the yeah. program. So he, he heads up replace your dollar. And, you know, that's another great thing. You talk to Jeremy about what his clients do for a living and the vast majority of them, they day trade. Well, right. Again, they're, they're creating their own economy and they're winning, whether exactly. it's an up economy or a down economy. Or down There's economy, a strategy right. to this. And it's not hard for people to, to understand. You don't have to have a, a PhD or a master's to get these concepts. You just need somebody who doesn't have those degrees to learn it and dumb it down and teach it so that it makes sense. 
It's brilliant. I, I just love it because I just love the way you've consolidated it into this, mm -hmm. this, this holistic structure. It's uh, wonderful. Right. So we've got a link down below this video. People click on it. What, what are they going to be able to see? They'll be able to gain access to a snippet of all of it so that you understand what learning path there is. So again, under Replace Your University, that's the umbrella of Replace Your Mortgage. So every module, we're going to have a beginner and intermediate path, right, that you get access for free. So we're talking dozens and dozens of hours of free education so that you understand the foundation of it before you take the next step to the advanced material. So you've got Replace Your Mortgage, then you've got Replace Your Banker of how to get the because with Replace Your Mortgage, what we did is we showed you how to get the mortgage lenders out of your life, right? But we've instituted who? A bank. So you're still paying interest to a third party that right. you don't own. So Replace Your Banker teaches you how to become your own bank and you finance right. everything about your life through your own bank. And then Replace Your Employer teaches you how to capitalize on some of these other opportunities that other folks don't see, mainly real estate and replace your employer and get them completely out of your life and become your own employer and, and start you know, creating your own economy where you hire employees and, and get people paid for doing good jobs. And then you've got replace your dollar, which is day trading. Uh, and then you have replace your mindset, which is a mindset coaching process, which is essentially what I was going through with Julie. Julie had the step in the right direction, but she didn't have her goals oriented appropriately to what the end result she wanted to have. So seven homes in seven years, and she's in real estate. So replace your employer is a perfect fit for her. So seven homes in seven years isn't going to get you there, but a hundred homes is definitely going to get you there. And imagine all the lives that you impact along the way. Every home right. requires a contractor. Every home requires a roofer, window person, carpenter, et cetera. You're impacting thousands of people because you decided to create your own economy. That's so cool. Gang, this is amazing. You got to check this out. Replaceyouruniversity.com. Michael, this is uh, wonderful. This is absolutely amazing. I think, again, I think you're riding a wave here. There's so many patriots, so many conservatives who are just looking, uh, tr trying to find a way out of this insan insanity, absurdity. They know it's crazy and they know it doesn't work to their advantage. And it's just wonderful to see like-minded patriots opening the door and, and showing them the way. And again, I know... A number of people have worked directly with you, and they've all said it's uh, absolutely amazing. So they just go to replaceyouruniversity.com? Yeah, yeah replaceyouruniversity.com, but I got a business idea. Replace yeah. your government. <laughs> I think you can help me with that. <laughs> yeah. We are all going to be working on that. We'll start on uh, in November 2022 and, and go there the next go. step. That's right. Amen. And we, we got to yep. bring more Tennessee politics to uh, places like Delaware, New Jersey. That's for sure. I'll tell you that. Right. So, so yeah, replaceyouruniversity.com and uh, just follow the steps once you get to that webpage and we can help you out from there. That's awesome. We'll have that link down below for you guys. Michael, it's amazing. It's so cool. Parallel economy. You're doing it. It's a game changer. And uh, you are impacting more lives than you can imagine. So thanks Thank so you. much for being here. I appreciate that. You bet. All right. Have God a good bless. one. I think that's it. You're normally, Anna, that's when you're supposed to go. That's it. Good. It's cut. It's great. <laughs> that was awesome, Michael. Yeah, that's great, man. You've been, uh, you've been busy since the last time we chatted. That's yeah. That, yeah. That's yeah, awesome. We have. It's been a yeah. busy six months for sure. Uh, yeah. A lot of the stuff we were already teaching, but it didn't make sense. You go to replace your mortgage and you're like, but now you're doing real estate, but now you're doing whole life insurance. And now you're talking about homeschooling and homesteading and stuff like that. You know, cause that's something else that we're, you know, I bought this cattle farm. So eventually uh, we'll, we'll talk about homesteading as well of how to, you know, be self-sustainable and right. Grow your Which own food huge right now. Food. Yeah. It's gigantic yeah. with a becoming famine for heaven's sakes. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, every time I go to Costco, it's 1300 bucks, but, um, yeah, now that uh, I've got the farm, we've been hard at work at, you know, putting some crops in and buying some cattle and goats and chickens and you know, that's, something that's happens that uh, we're self-sustainable. That's so cool. Yeah. Your, your, yeah, your property is probably bigger than our County here. I'm, I'm, I'm assuming so. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that big. I, I do back up to 6,600 acres of a hunting club though. So oh, nice. all private okay. land that will never Good, be built. Yeah. So, so they're, they're some, not going to build yeah. up. Your, your, yeah, they, uh, was it seven acres? I forget what you told me. If no, I'm trying to 90. 
90. Oh, gosh. All right. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, you are bigger than Delaware. So. <laughs> yeah. Awesome, man. Well, this would be great. And then, yeah, let's do this again. I think you're going to get a uh, huge response. And as you just, yeah, continue to consolidate, this, this is perfect. Uh, this this yep. is exactly what people are craving for. This would be great. Right. I agree. Well, I appreciate it. Thanks for having me on, Steve. Take care. You God bet. bless. Right back at you.